Well, forget about bleach, because a robot is actually able to kill coronavirus. A team from MIT has invented a robot that powerfully disinfects surfaces and, get this, neutralizes aerosolized forms of coronavirus. So for more on this, we welcome Daniela Roos, Director of the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory at MIT. Daniela, thank you so much for joining us today. So the first question I want to ask you is, how does this robot even work? So the robot, you can see, it looks kind of like the queen piece of a chess set. Uh, it has a mobile base, um, so that is the um, a robot that uh, can navigate uh, a, a space much like a self-driving car would. And on top of the robot um, sits a UVC disinfecting light. Uh, the robot is controlled by some powerful algorithms that compute exactly where the robot has to go and how long it has to stay in order to neutralize um, the, the germs uh, that exist in that particular part of the space. So how quickly can it do that? Well, the robot, uh, for the particular space uh, we, have, um, uh, we have deployed the robot in, which is the Greater Boston Food Bank, uh, a space that is particularly important uh, in Boston's fight uh, against coronavirus because a lot of people get their food and sustenance there. Um, the space is 4,000 square feet. Uh, the robot uh, can cover it in half an hour. Uh, it, we have computed uh, the speed of the robot so that it delivers the right amount of dosage uh, to neutralize the germs. So I'm thinking as we're starting to reopen again, especially schools now starting to be reopened, can this be rolled out at scale, you know, to neutralize the virus in, you know, banks, stores, schools, perhaps for the fall? Exactly. This is such an exciting idea to use the solution as a hands-free, um, safe way to neutralize uh, dorms, uh, hallways, uh, hospitals, airports, even airplanes. Uh, grocery stores. Uh, the solution can be deployed in so many different types of environments. Uh, the robot moves autonomously, so a person is not needed uh, to control the robot, and, but the robot needs to have a, a map or a, a sense of the geometry of the space. So everything sounds pretty perfect, <laughs> um, but what are the, the drawbacks or the hurdles uh, that you guys are facing as you're programming this robot to move around warehouses? So I would say that uh, an important uh, part of the puzzle is that the light uh, emitted by the robot is dangerous to humans, um, so the robot cannot be in the same space as humans. Uh, or if people are around the robot, they have to wear protective gear. Um, in terms of navigation, the solutions are fairly straightforward. Uh, the, the challenge was to do the, the coverage modeling and, um, and the, uh, the dosage uh, computation. But in terms of how this robot moves, uh, it's pretty much like a self-driving car. And, um, and so the robot has a bunch of sensors. It uses the sensors to identify where the free spaces are, where the obstacles are. It knows where it wants to go. It computes a path. The right. cost of the robot is still high, and so this may be a challenge for um, rapid, broad deployment. Well, what's the cost of the robot right now? Well, the cost of the robot is the cost of the base uh, on, which, um, it, uh, on which the um, uh, UVC disinfection system sits. And so it can be adjusted according to what base you want to use um, for, your, uh, for your space. But right. the robot can also be used as a service. And so maybe you don't need to buy an entire robot set. You can, uh, you can book the robot for a few hours a day uh, to take care of your space. All right. Well, now I've seen everything. Don't need Clorox. Don't need Lysol. You can just get a, a robot with a UV light. Daniela Roos from MIT. Thanks so much. Thank you.